Okay, we've got our manifold in place now. We've kind of built a bracket here that we'll have it pulled off later and painted, but for now, we've strung out all the lines. Uh, we haven't tied anything in place yet, but I've left the last one here to show you what we do. <laughs> Take the blue tubing, and on the bottom of the uh, manifold piece, there's the hole that you can string the line through. And we'll pull that and string it out to the opener. And we leave, as you can see here, we've left about an eight to 10 inch loop through the bottom. Um, you get your cap, stick the cap on, about a half inch, it'll bottom out, and we thread it on, and if you leave this 8 to 10 inch loop, and why we do that, once this is tight, give it a pull, it's tight. Why we leave that loop is that once everything's strung into place, if a line ever does get snagged or anything, it'll pull that and hopefully not wreck anything. Whereas if we had it tight, you risk ripping it out and losing it there. But if we leave the loop, right there. we'll tie that in right down to the opener now. I don't want to move any further. So we've strung this line through the frame to where we want to go to the opener. We're going to keep it as high on the frame as we can, so when it's tied down, if you ever plug the drill, if you get a water straw or anything, your lines aren't going to be sagging and get caught. So we'll tie that last, but right now I'll show you when we get to the opener said earlier it's going to follow your seed tube. We've, we've got an opener we've just tacked some stainless tubes onto them so you put the blue line in put over that one of our orange caps it'll go down to you got about an inch of the blue line sticking out the bottom the orange cap seals on the top tug on the line it's tight and this will be secured with zip ties to there so it's up out of the way if you ever get a wad it's not going to pull it off but there's an installation of an alpine kit.